When it comes to finding plus size and petite plus size clothing, Talbot's continues to impress me. There are some really, really hard decisions that I'm gonna have to make. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Aralia. I am a personal stylist. My passion in life is to help plus size women look and feel their absolute best. Everyone deserves to look and feel beautiful regardless of size or age. Part of my job as a personal stylist, of course, is to shop. I'm bringing you a plus size Talbot's haul. They're starting to drop some of the spring arrivals. Spoiler alert, I'm really literally floored by what I found and there are going to be some really hard decisions that I have to make for this haul. Yeah. I might keep some things. <laughs> First of all, I will have everything linked in the description bar down below. I'm going to have it also pinned to a comment on this video, but make sure that you're following me on like to know it and also on Instagram because I'm posting these there first. What I've learned about Talbot's is that when it comes to their new releases for each season, when they sell out, they sell out. Talbot's carries petite plus sizes, which they are one of the very few that do that. As a plus size gal who is short, it is really, really hard to find pieces that are scaled down for a petite body. I always like bringing in a blazer because blazers are one of the pieces that are really, really hard to fit for a short woman and plus size short woman even harder. So I did bring in a blazer. This is the tailored stretch double breasted blazer. I picked it up in the size 18 plus petite. I brought it in in the blue color. They also have four other colors available. I know that they've got a really pretty bright green. I think they have an ivory. They may have a pink one and a black one or possibly navy. The cost of the blazer is $219. Pricey, yes, and Talbot's tends to be up there in price, but they do run a lot of good sales. I'm not sure what sale is going to be running when this video gets published, but if they are running a sale, I will be sure to have it here. Also, I'll be sure to announce it on Instagram and like to know it. The length of the arms were cut to scale for my body type, so I didn't have too much trouble with the sleeves being too long, with the blazer being overwhelming. Those types of blazers tend to look really big and tend to overwhelm my body, but this one actually didn't do that because it is scaled down for a shorter woman. I really liked the way that it fit. It has got silver buttons, which is different. I'm so used to seeing blazers with gold buttons, but this one has silver buttons. It is fully lined and it has really great structure. I think that this is a really, really good blazer if you want a style of blazer, especially if you're looking to bring in a pop of color. I think it's a really beautiful way of bringing some color into your wardrobe. This haul, I'm gonna forewarn you, is dress heavy. I just kept seeing Seeing all of the really pretty dresses that they have, they kept going into cart because I love dresses, especially in the spring. Dresses are my thing. I love them. I think that they're fantastic. I just feel that they're so easy. They're one and done. They're so pretty. And so the, the haul is a little bit dress heavy. Now this one is a Ponty A-line dress. Ponty knit, if you're not aware, is a double-faced knit that has got a lot of stretch but holds its shape very well. I think that Talbot's actually does Ponty knit really, really well. Um, I think that they uh, don't make it too thick, but it is thick enough to still hold its structure. So anyway, I brought it in in an 18 plus, and I did that because I wanted it for length. Talbot's, because they create these things scaled for a shorter body, sometimes they hit right at the knee and I'm not a fan of my knees and so I prefer to wear something that covers them a bit. So I go to the just standard plus size in order to help achieve that. But it is available in plus petite. The only color they have in this is black, of course, and it came in at $189. This is a perfect dress for the office. I do appreciate the three quarter sleeve. I thought that that's a nice touch. I know some people are kind of iffy about it but for me being shorter and also being plus size when you expose your wrists you're actually helping to make yourself look taller and slimmer because it is one of the smaller parts of the body and so it gives that illusion of slenderization it is of course just an illusion but anything i can do to make myself look taller and thinner i'm gonna try and it's nice that this one already has the sleeves cut at the three-quarter length you can roll them up a little bit more if you want to you know to style it a little bit um, but i like it as is 
It does have silver buttons. The buttons are not functioning buttons. They may be functioning, sort of. They will undo, but they don't go anywhere. They're, they don't open up. It's just for show, but I do like the buttons. I think that the buttons are a really nice touch. It's got little slit pockets uh, with a flap on the chest as well as on the skirt. And I think those are really beautiful little details that this dress has that really caught my eye. I thought that it would make a really pretty dress because it has all of those really cute details on it. It's not just a black dress you've got uh, you know the buttons that help to kind of give it a little bit of a jeweled look but you will be tied to wearing silver jewelry unless you don't mind mixing your metals you know whichever suits um, I think that this is a really great dress for the office it's very comfortable I would say that it has a slight relaxed fit it just sat really beautifully on the body I could move easily I would be able to work all day long in this dress and then maybe even go out to dinner in the dress without feeling uncomfortable or bound or anything like that it's a really really great dress especially for the office so if you're looking for some workwear this dress is one to think about okay so the next dress that i brought in is another ponty dress it is the ponty a-line shirt dress i picked this one up in an 18 plus because I wanted more length. It comes in indigo blue only. That's the only color that they had available. And the cost is $179. Now, this dress again has a really nice relaxed fit. It's got an implied waistline. Um, the knit is very comfortable. It moves very easily with you. This does have functioning buttons, so you can unbutton it. It also has got a collar on it. One of the other things that I feel is a really sweet detail on this dress is the fact that it has got gathering on the sleeves up here at the top so it does have a little bit of puffiness up there um, it's just a really really pretty detail on the dress I think that it works very very well it gives a bit of a conservative old money kind of feel to it I would say that this piece is almost like a preppy piece if you're going for that vibe then it's definitely one to consider because it does have that old money country club living kind of Thing going for it and it does have really nice slit pockets what I can truly appreciate about Talbot's clothing and one of the reasons that I go to them again and again is that they are incredibly well-made pieces at least that's been my experience with them they are a bit higher in price but I feel that you are definitely getting what you pay for with Talbot's clothing and I really can appreciate the level of quality that they give to these pieces the stitching is always really good it's very solid and the designs I feel are very classic now I will say that for Talbot's one of the things that you have to be cautious of is they do carry pieces that can look a little bit matronly so you have to be careful about what you pick and choose but that's what I'm here for I'm here to help you with that so really really appreciate their level of quality and I don't mind spending more money on these pieces because I know that I'm going to have them for a long time and I've had a lot of you in the comments tell me that you have found Talbot's pieces thrifted and you always snatch them up because you know that they're going to last and I won 100% agree with that. The next piece that I have is the one that you see me wearing here. It is the ribbed fit and flare sweater dress. I picked it up in a 2X plus because there was no petite option available, at least not when I took a look and made my notes for this recording. They only have one color and it is this beautiful saturated green. They're calling it spring leaves. I call it grass green or Kelly green. It is just such a bright vibrant color i don't think that the camera is doing this color justice it is definitely a little bit deeper and more saturated than what you guys are seeing on camera it is so so beautiful the cost of the dress is 189 dollars I have to say right off the bat that I absolutely love this dress. This dress is one of those hard decisions that I have to make, you know, because the color is outstanding. I do not have a dress in this color. And this is the perfect spring dress without being a floral. It is stretchy knit. They call it a sweater dress, and I guess I would agree with that, but it's a very, very lightweight sweater fabric, and it is a little bit on the synthetic side. I think that this is probably polyester if I have to gauge, if I have to guess the fabric content is polyester. I forgot to look when I put my list together. I apologize about that, but I will note that here at the bottom of the screen. 
the ribbing for the dress has got texture, which is what I love. I, I don't mind a dress that has like the same sized ribbing throughout. There's nothing wrong with that, but I really like it when it, the dress has got like a, a fat ribbing and then a skinny ribbing and then a fat ribbing and a skinny ribbing like this dress has. It just gives it a lot more visual interest and a lot more movement, actually, I think. The dress fits very well. It has a slight relaxed fit. This one has got gold buttons on it, which I can appreciate because the majority of my jewelry is gold. It is perfect for the office. If you want to add a punch of color to your wardrobe, it is perfect for Easter. That was the, the first thought that came to mind when I first tried it on and was modeling it for you guys. I'm like, this is a perfect dress for Easter uh, because of the color and you know, it's not a floral and or St. Patrick's Day. If you're, if you celebrate St. Patty's Day, this is a really great dress for that too. But overall, this is a fantastic, fantastic spring dress, guys. I appreciate the V-neck. The buttons, uh, once again, the buttons open, but they don't go anywhere. They're closed, you know, the, the dress is closed off. So even though the buttons appear to be functioning, they don't open, you know, they're stitching back there, holding things together. So I like that. I don't mind that they give the illusion of buttons, that the buttons aren't just sitting there, that they actually went through the extra step of creating buttonholes for this dress to give it the appearance of having buttons. The pockets are faux pockets and it's got an implied waistline and then it has a little skirt that flares out. So good. So, so good. If you get anything from this haul, I think that this dress should be it because it's going to be a, your, one of your more, more versatile dresses this spring, especially if you love wearing these beautiful, bright, saturated colors. So the next dress that I have for you is the snap button ribbed midi dress. I picked it up in a 2X plus. There is no petite option available. It comes only in indigo blue. The cost of the dress is $189. This is a very, very comfortable transitional dress. It is really a beautiful and substantial ribbed fabric. I like the buttons. I think the buttons are really, really super nice. This is a really, really great dress for work. Well, you don't have to just wear it to work. I mean, it's not just a work dress, but it makes for a great work dress. And you could wear it casually as well with a pair of sneakers or a pair of flats or something like that or sandals once the weather starts to warm up a little bit. I do like the buttons. They're actually snaps and the only thing is though is that they are once again even though they're functional they're not. They don't open. They don't go anywhere except for the three two or three snaps at the bottom on the you know along the, the hemline. You can open those up. Those are fully functioning so that you can have a little bit of a slit. I like the buttons because they are a gold but they almost lean a little bit rose gold you know they've got a little bit of that pinky tone to them and then i decided to belt it though to give it a little bit more structure to style it a little bit for you guys because while i like the dress on its own without the belt it was very comfortable and it looked good i just felt that the belt helped to zhuzh it in a little bit and helped to make me look a little bit more streamlined i feel this dress is a stunner it is a great dress that's going to work at work and at home. Um, the one thing I will say about it though, it is very, very heavy. So make sure that you don't hang it because if you hang this dress because of the weight of it, it's going to change the shape. It's going to make it longer and you're going to have a hard time getting it to spring back to its former length. Um, so this is definitely a dress that you want to fold, not hang. The last dress that I brought in is a really beautiful dress. It's very, it's a sweet dress. That's the way that I can describe it. It is called the Easy Travel Fit and Flare Dress. I picked this up in 18 plus petite. The color is indigo blue. However, they also have it in black. The cost of the dress is $209. I feel that this particular dress is a perfect foundation work dress. What I mean by that is that it is a really great canvas for styling. You can bring in jewelry or scarves or a belt or bags and shoes to zhuzh the dress up and make it into something. Because on its own, it is beautiful. It is a fit and flare style, short sleeve, V-neck, and has a really nice band uh, defined waistline on the dress that isn't constrictive at all, but it's 
very boring on its own. And I think they did that on purpose though, because you can then bring in accessories to make it something special. I would say even a brooch would look really beautiful on this dress. It's a really, really great piece that is a nice basic to have in your wardrobe if you are looking for a dress that's going to be a foundational piece. I added the blazer to it in order to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. Being what it is, it's a perfect dress for a work wardrobe because you would be able to change it up and make it look special in a lot of different ways. How will this work for travel? Well, when I steamed it, the wrinkles seemed to come out fairly quickly. It is a dress I think that you can travel with. I decided to pick up a pair of jeans. I saw these white jeans and I know that I think I've had people tell me in the past that Talbot's jeans are really good and the white jeans, you know, people have recommended those to me as a good pair of white jeans to have. So I thought, let me give it a try. They look nice. And so the, I picked it up in the 18 plus. This did not have any kind of inseams. So it is just the standard plus. It, they did not have any petite offerings on it that I could see. The color of course is white. And the cost of the jeans is $129. I will have to take these to be tailored, uh, to be shortened, or maybe I would just wear them cuffed, but I think I would rather shorten them than cuff them. I really did like them. They have a fairish amount of stretch and they're very lightweight. I do not feel that they were see-through and that was the concern when I unpacked them when I received them was that, oh my, these, these are gonna be a little bit see-through, but no, they're not see-through. At least I don't think so. Not not from what I was able to see in the viewfinder. If they are see-through, I will let you know at the, you know, um, at the bottom here, or maybe I'll just interject myself. But as far as I could tell, they did not appear to be see-through. Recently, I talked about denim that had a lot of spandex or that had a lot of stretch. With blue denim, it tends to cheapen the jean, but with white denim, I don't think it's as as bad because it doesn't affect the color of the jean. And the fit is fantastic on these jeans. They are pretty high-waisted though, I will say that. And I just feel like it's a really great jean to have for the spring and summer. I mean, you can wear white jeans year round. You're not just restricted to spring, summer, but this is a really pretty crisp white jean that will look very, very beautiful with any of the pieces that I brought in. If you're short, you will have to have them hemmed, but I feel like, they're a really great staple to have for the spring summer. So again, another hard decision that I have to make. Do I wanna keep these? I do not have a pair of white jeans and I have been on the hunt for a pair of white jeans for the last couple of years and just haven't stumbled across a pair that I really like. And these I thought were really super nice. So I'll have to give it some thought. You know what these remind me of though? They remind me a lot of Not Your Daughter's Jeans, NYDJ jeans. I had a pair of white jeans from NYDJ and uh, I liked them well enough, but I just felt that the pockets I could see through the denim and I'll have to look at the playback to see if that's an issue with these. But from what I could tell, they looked actually really good. So I might have a hard decision on my hands with these jeans. So the next piece that I have got that I styled with these jeans are the cable knit cutaway cardigan. They call it in tipped. I picked up the 2X plus petite. They have indigo blue, which has got a white trim. And then they've got an ivory version that has a black trim. The cost of the cardigan is $149. This is a really pretty take on the lady jacket. I'm not gonna lie. It is really nice. I love the white trim with the navy. That's why I picked it. I just felt like it's very nautical and spring always brings to my nautical for me. I really do like the white trim on it. And I like the fact that it has got a curved hem in the front. Most of these cropped jackets and cropped cardigans will go straight across. This one actually has a curve. And I thought that was really nice. That's a beautiful little detail. It has really pretty silver buttons. All of the buttons are functional. Um, it has a really nice textured knit to it. It's got different stitches on for the knit texture. And I like that. I I thought that was really nice. It's very interesting visually. It's very warm though. Just know it is, uh, I, I was sweating when I had this on. It is quite cozy and will keep you warm if that is what you're looking for. I can imagine this in Martha's Vineyard, you know, in the spring and you're on a yacht or a boat or something like that wearing this and it's gonna do a really great job of keeping you nice and warm and toasty. Really, really beautiful cardigan. I think just a thicker knit cardigan. So keep that in mind, but really, really lovely. I like it a lot. And I think that you could top any of the dresses that I brought in with that cardigan and it would look really pretty. The next piece that I brought in 
again is the Cool Max Crew Neck Sweater Bicolor Stripe. I picked it up in a size 2X. They have very limited sizing available, guys. This is selling out very, very quickly, and I can see why. It is a beautiful sweater. I have it in indigo and white. That's the only color that's available, and the cost on the sweater is $129. Now, what is making this sweater so fantastic, and again, another hard decision that I have to make. What I love about this sweater is that pop of orange at the collar, as well as on the snaps on the side. It has those snaps that open the sweater up and you've got an orange grow grain ribbon as part of the design on those snaps. Again, Talbot's quality and attention to detail is really, really good. And that's one of those little details that I just absolutely love. I love that pop of orange. I think blue and orange are complementary colors to one another and they just look so good together. So, so beautiful. It's one of my favorite color combinations. And so that's why the sweater has my attention. That's why I had to bring it in, but it is selling out. So if you're interested in the sweater, move quickly because I'm not sure what stock is going to look like by the time this video gets published, but it is a really great sweater. It's a medium weight sweater. So you'll be wear able to wear it for some time to come, especially if you are in the northern or cooler climates, I should say. I could easily wear this sweater into July. People are into it and it's the perfect spring sweater in my opinion because again, very nautical. It gives off that that country club, yacht club kind of vibe that um, this whole video is based on. <laughs> so I really do like it. I think it's very beautiful and a piece that you'll be able to wear for seasons to come. The last piece that I have to show you are these Sutton Buckle Leather Flats in metallic. I picked up a size 7M. The color here is silver. However, they do have got other uh, styles and colors available in this shoe. You've got two colors in the suede finish. You've got a floral and you've also got a denim one. And the cost of the shoe is $139. These shoes are very, very reminiscent of Roger Vivier flats. They're so delicate looking. They just are so beautiful because they've got that really cool buckle on them. They are really just very, very beautiful shoes. And I've had my eye on Roger Vivier flats for quite some time. Never pulled the trigger though, because those tend to run narrow, like really narrow. This was right as the pandemic was starting out. I didn't get a chance to try them and see different sizes to see if, you know, maybe sizing up would fit better. And I forgot about them. And then now Talbot's has a style very, very similar to that. When I put them on, I thought, oh no, these are just like the Roger Vivier shoes. They are a little bit narrow, but as I wore them while I was, you know, trying things on and walking around here in my office and just wearing them for, I think I wore them for about an hour and a half, they warmed up and they started to mold a little bit to my feet. And so I felt that, oh, okay, so they're not quite as narrow. They're not gonna stay as stiff and narrow as the Roger Vivier styles because I think the only type that I ever saw from Roger Vivier were patent leather and, you know, patent barely moves at all. And so um, I just was worried that these were going to be the same, but no, they actually started to mold a little to my feet and they fit a little bit better. I love them a lot. I think that this is an a excellent way to get that designer look for less, easily look for less because I mean, this is a fraction of what the Roger Vivier flats cost. I think the Roger Vivier flats pre-pandemic were at nearly $900, but here you can get them under $150 and they're very, very beautiful. And with silver trending right now, I, I just had to bring those in when I saw them on the website because I'm like, these could be my silver shoes. <laughs> and uh, again, a hard decision for me. I don't know if I want to keep them or not. Um, but I'm leaning to keeping them because I don't have silver shoes. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll let you know. The one thing that I will say though about these shoes and part of the reason why I'm a little bit on the fence is um, they tend to let air escape as you walk. You almost make like a, I don't want to seem crude, but you know, like a, they fart when you walk, you know, they fart. They make these little sounds when you're walking around in them. So I'm gonna walk around a little bit more to see if that continues. Maybe I'll need to wear little footy socks, but that might make them 
tight, you know, uh, because I don't know that I have that much wiggle room in these shoes, but we shall see. Anyway, it's a really beautiful shoe. I think that, let me grab it here. I just, I really, really love the heel. I think the heel is just the perfect size flat. It's got a squared off toe, which is awesome. I just love the design of these shoes. They just look so delicate and so beautiful. And I love the silver and I love the buckle. I love everything about these. So it's gonna be a hard decision for me on these shoes. I brought in some new things for spring from Walmart. So I'm gonna leave you with that video for you to watch next. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly appreciate it. And I hope to see you in that video. Bye.